Wow, what a beautiful day. Today, in this session, I'm going to sh show you how to do niche research for KDP books. If you can do niche research for your KDP books, you can expand your business and you can reach out to more customers willing to buy different books. So today we're going to look at how to do niche research for KDP books. And let's go straight to the session and start with the first way to do your niche research. And this is how I do my niche research. research researchers, you can also add up to other ways to do your niche research to make this a complete uh, listing. I'm gonna share with you my experience on how I do niche research. The first place I go to do niche research is Pinterest, pin interest. P interests or whatever you can call it. So if you have a Pinterest account, just go to www.pinterest.com. It's going to pretty look like this. You can create an account and sign in. Just sign up. And uh, if you sign up, you can sign in and do your researches. So the first way I do is just using the search bar because most people publish interiors and KDP books on Pinterest. So they are discovered on Pinterest, they link their books to uh, Pinterest so that people can see and go to their links or uh, sites or stores and buy them. So I also come here to get inspiration to do my research. So what am I going to do? So the first thing I do is I type in the type of niche I want or the specific like general category, something like bullet journal. I'm looking for journal ideas. So I do bullet journal ideas. So you can see there's bullet journal, there's bullet journal ideas. So the possibility is that it's going to lead us. And these are all what people are typing in for bullet journal ideas. So this may not give you a clear, just putting in uh, the word here will not give you from the drop down, will not give you clear uh, ideas of the niches, but type in a bullet journal idea, search for it and you start scrolling down. So you start seeing what people have been publishing on or putting in in terms of bullet journal ideas. And you scroll down, you can see people have put in different interiors, different book types, different like, so you can get KDP interiors also ideas also here. So let me go back. I saw something that may be interesting. Let me give us, okay. So this is 379 Blair Journal Collection Idea List. So it's a list someone has published. So I'm just going to, I'm curious. So I want to know what it is and how I can also draw some ideas in terms of publishing here. Wow, it has like 370 layout ideas for Blair Journal. So I look at it well. So we, and this is a perfect niche research that the person has just done and given to us for free. Literally, it's for free because that the person has put in this like finance, uh, home ideas, work, health, fun, family, and all those things. So I want to see more because I'm curious. So I'm going to type, click on that link to lead us to where I can find the original text or content here. So maybe I can so download it. So the person has done extensive work. This is all the ideas that we've gotten. So let me see. I want this infographic. So they say get the pin print to graphic or whatever it is. So let me just click on it to download this. Wow. So it has given us this MPDF. We've just downloaded this like that. We can download it on our desktop and stuff. So pretty sure it's like this. So let's look at the uh, niches that we can find here. A lot of niches. So we can, under finance, we can find budgeting. So there's something like budgeting, donations, bills list, sale and idea, uh, uh, deal bits. So let's go back to the original site that we want to publish, which is Amazon. If you see this, so we're going to validate some of the niches to see, are they actually good niches or what? So let's look at work, work later niches. So goals up, sales. So I'm going to pick sales. 
and I'm going to validate that. So let's look at sales. So we just type in sales, see what we can find under sales. So sales order book. So you can see. So if you are doing uh, if you are doing keywords, you can. It's better to leave it in the all section. But if you are doing niche research, you can go back down to the books where you can just do your research. So let's look at what people have been publishing in terms of sales. So sales. Okay, sales order logbook. So this may be a good in, uh, niche that you're looking at. So sales order logbook. Wow, so we have order logbook for sales. And so it's a good niche that we can look at. So if you find a niche that is okay, you open a Word document or Excel and you type it in, maybe sales log. I'm just using this for illustration, sales log. Okay, enable whatever. So you can write it anywhere, maybe sales log. So that's the first niche you found that we can publish in. Then we go back to the list. Then we see. So under home, there's vehicle maintenance. So let's search for vehicle maintenance and validate that niche. Because you need to validate them to see, are they selling the vehicle? So there's vehicle maintenance. OK, or do you have a logbook that is like vehicle maintenance? That has that name, vehicle maintenance. So this, uh, this is. So it simply means in the BSR is still 28,604, which means that it's selling, it's much selling, and it was published in May 21st. So this is the book. And let's look at the sales trajectory to see. So the sales is quite not bad, it's okay. You can see from when it was published, it has been up, down, and it's coming down, which means it's a good book for businesses, for homes, people to buy, and to do whatever they want to do. So you can see that it's a good niche that you can publish it. So if it's a good niche, you go to your, open your document and save it, vehicle maintenance, 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 logbook. Okay, so you can just leave it like that and uh, start creating interiors. You look inside the inside feature to see the type of interior. So it's pretty like this inside, which you can do. I believe you can do this. Then you just save it and go in. So you go back to the same list and look for maybe Cloud Tracker. So there are a lot of them that you can find. So you validate all of them like I just did with the two budgeting, sales and ideal savings tax filing, debit card. So let's look at health, exercise idea, sugar tracking, migraines, fitness. So medicine tracker. So we have fitness. So let's see whether we can see fitness journal. Fitness. So these are all things that fitness logbook. So we have fitness logbook here, which we can validate to see. So there's a personal trainer client logbook, personal trainer. So that's like under the fitness planner or fitness niche. And there's workout logbook. So if it is good, okay for you, write it down. Then you come back to all this. So Pinterest has led us to get this. So you can still go back and do logbook ideas, maybe logbook ideas. The so logbook, I logbook ideas you may not find all you want here but it will lead you to get like ideas that you can start publishing in and uh, you can see so scuba diving so like you can see one book someone has published uh, like a book in scuba diving so that's perhaps a niche that you can look at so scuba diving diving or whichever it is so you go back and validate it scuba and see scuba diving. So be sure there's a book about that. When you look at it, scuba diving log book. And uh, so if it's okay for you, you check inside the feature and look at the sales. And uh, perhaps you can go back and look at the, say, do the keyword researches in the other videos. Then you look at the interior. That's the important for me. If it's something you can do, you just do it. If you can also buy that you go and buy that and start publishing. So it's like this, it's easy to design. 
you can do that. So you go back and you're just looking for ideas. Take your time, sip some coffee, sip some tea. So you have golf love. So you can do a golf love book also. So this uh, book, golf log book, then we have a uh, cleaning log book. So these are all niches that you can find under that because you made that search. So if it's okay for you, baby's log book, then you just put all of them down, write all of them down and go out, start looking for interior ideas and getting their uh, important, the important part of it is getting the keywords and the uh, interiors and start publishing. So perhaps that's how you can find niches on Pinterest. So I use Pinterest to find niches. You can see we just found like not less than 10 because this list alone, the niches that I hear are like 350. If I'm going to validate all of them, I can't publish like in the next 10 years, I can't even finish publishing all this because I don't publish one or two, publish more per one niche. So you can see. So it's a, it's a good platform. Pinterest is one platform that you use to get your niches. So the third or the second way you can find niches, validate niches, so is use Etchy. Etchy.com. You can see it, Etchy. It's also another platform where they sell webs, where a lot of products are being sold. So you can actually get more or do more here by creating or searching for niches here. So what we do, we look, for, look for notebooks. Or we just type in KDP interiors. Here, you just type in KDP interiors templates or whatever it is. So it's going to pretty sh bring all the interiors that people are publishing or putting in here and selling them as KDP interiors. So if you type in that, you start seeing KDP interiors for different niches. So this is a password tracker, which is a KDP interior. This is a notebook. So this is a planner, Japanese writing. So you pretty get what people are publishing in, in KDP and what people are buying or selling. Then you go to what your KDP as usual. Let's go to Amazon and track that also. So validate that on Amazon to see uh, do we actually have books like that? So let's look at password. Password tracker. So it tells us password logbook or tracker. You can put that and pretty sure that there are books about that and even best selling books. So this is a book. So if you find that this is something you can do, you look inside. We always want the winning side. So I look inside to see can I design the template interior? or I'll go back to Etchy to buy it. But I would advise that you, you design your own templates. So you look inside to see how simple is it to design your own template. So it's pretty simple. And this is what is inside this. You can do a better template than this. So website, login, password, notes, and it's the same interior that is duplicated. So that is a good niche. You look at that, then you write it down. You go to your book, you write it down as well, backer or anything log. It helps you. Then you go back, you start just sip some coffee. Japanese writing is a book that you can search in and uh, start publishing in that Bible study, gratitude journal. People have published gratitude journals, meditation diary, and all these things are niches that you can easily yoga journal. Halloween coloring books, camping logbook, podcast planner. You can go and publish diabetes tracker. And these are all niches that are good for you. So I hope it helps you to get more niches. And you can type in research, refine your searches to get in more of a hundred or thousand niches. Then the final one we I'm going to look at is you can use Amazon itself to look for niches. Yes, you can use Amazon itself to look for niches. So maybe look at, this is it, amazon.com. I want notebooks, notebook. I just type in notebook. And once I type in notebooks, I'm going to get a, So once you type in notebook, it's gonna, so there's a, a plugin that you install. 
to give you the suggestions. So in the not, uh, keyword suggestions, like keyword research tools, I made mention some of them. So you, it's going to expand for you to see Japanese notebook. We saw this one in the Etsy, WTF uh, notebook that's password, portfolio notebook, notebooks for teens and girls, notebook for Bible, notebook for Bible notes, notebook for lists, notebook for training, it's an all potential notebook journal for women, notebook planner, potential journals or notebooks that you can use like for niches. You can search niches, use them as niches here. Then you can risk define that maybe if you're looking for logbooks, logbook so it also comes and yes, this thing to give you different logbook ideas. So logbooks, logbook cover, logbook. So this is just the normal thing that uh, Amazon will give you. But if you have the expander, suggestion expander, which I'm going to show you how to get it in a bit, you can get hunting logbook, which is a different niche, Jefferson logbook, work, golf logbook, logbook, and all those things. Logbook for hiking, hiking, fishing logbook, dog, logbook for trackers, logbook for school, and all this stuff. So it also helps you to get what your niche research done properly. So if you can get a thousand and thousand based on the type of research criteria, you can type in planners. It's going to give you different planner niches, different planner niches. And my name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm doing this because I help you. I want to help you. So plan for planner, financial planners, whatever planners, and all those things. So all you need to get this ex to expand is that you need to get this one. It's a plugin, AMZ, AMZ Suggestion Expander. So once you get go to just go to uh, Google and do searching AMS Suggestion Expander, AMZ Suggestion Expander, you see it. And once you see it, it's going to be like this. It's a plugin, so we download it. If you have it, it's going to be like here. I already have it on my web, uh, Chrome, so it tells me to remove. No, I'm not going to remove it now. So all you need to do is download it, sign up, sign in. It's pretty easy to use and it's free. So once you uh, sign up and you put it on your this thing to appear here. If it's not appearing this way, you can just go here and click on it to appear. So once it appears, you restart your browser. Some of you is to start working or you can restart your browser and start searching. And once you start searching, you're gonna see things like this, it's gonna expand. It's going to expand for you to see different niches for whatever you want to do. So this is how I do my niche researches and other different ways, but it will help you to do more. So thank you for your time. My name really remains I am. And I'm here. So let's meet in another session. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Never give up. Keep on and let's win together.